Dante. Right now. What do you get when you take two baby mamas, two baby daddies, throw in a couple of moms and a girlfriend? That's right, some serious baby mama drama. Please welcome Marlita to the show. Marlita, how you doing? Hello. Hi, Marlita. Hi. Why are you here today? What's going on, honey? My fiance's mother is crazy. Future mother-in-law. Yes, crazy, crazy. Off the hook. Yeah, yes, since day one. What does she do? She, what haven't she done would be a better <laughs> question. She does everything. Yes. Um, Doesn't then, like you. No. Doesn't then, like you. No. Hates you. Hate me. Hate me, literally. Makes your life miserable. Yes, it does. Um, me and my fiance, we met right in 2000 and, um, ten, ele no, 11. And you got pregnant quick. Yeah, we got pregnant even quicker, <laughs> really. Uh, we met in October. We was pregnant by December. So, and, but we in love. He loved me. He asked me to marry me when he first found that I was pregnant because he didn't want our baby born. You know? Good man. Yeah, good man. Very Stepped good up. man. And... Since she found out, she has been making our life a living hell. Literally. What has she done? Has she sent you some dirty text? And um, yeah, she have left voice messages saying, "Oh, I'm pr I'm on my knees praying to the devil. You in that bass? Maybe that bass? Maybe down delivery table." Um. So your future mother-in-law wanted her grandbaby dead. Yeah, she did before she was 45 years old. So it was bad. Yes. And in fact. There, there's a picture of the child. Yes. That, Beautiful. Child. Yes. That, Beautiful. <laughs> yes. And didn't it get so bad you got a restraining order against her? Yes. We, yes. You went to court. Me and James both. We both have to get two separate. We both got a restraining order against his mom. For what behavior? Um, She was threatening to come by our house. She was threatening to um, address the people, you know, people that I'm having beef with. I'm his woman. You know, we plan on getting married. Yeah. And you the, got a baby. Exactly. You don't accept our son. You... You asked for a DNA test. I gave you a DNA In test. In fact, you took the DNA test, and he is 99.999% the baby daddy. No question. No question. But doesn't she hate all the girlfriends of her son? Yes. If, if me and him brought me in her relationship, would be like this, Bill. It would be We're, tight as ever if we broke up right now, and it shouldn't have to be that way. And, and in fact, she is now friends with a lot of his, with a lot of his exes. Yeah. And if you break up with him, she might become your friend. Um, exactly. She didn't told his ex girlfriend where we live, what's going on in our house. You know, just is like, she trying to get the exes to go back with her son, maybe? Ex, but the ex stabbed him with a knife. He had to go to the hospital. She stabbed him with a knife. She hated her when they was together. I hated this girl guts because she stabbed her son. son. But that, now that's they, a problem. Now they, now they're close. like white on rice. Please welcome the mother of Melitha's fiance, Levon, to the show. Levon, come on out. Levon, you've not seen each other for about a year. Ten months. Ten months. You're counting. Round off to a year. Levon. What are your feelings toward your future daughter-in-law? Uh, future. <laughs> yes. Oh, first of all, first, first and foremost, I never said that I didn't like you. I never said that I hated you. I never even breathed a word of this to anybody in my family or my closest friends. I can accept you very openly as far as being the girlfriend and the mother of, of my grandson, being the girlfriend to my son. But as far as an actual marriage, Taking it as far as to, to exchange the vows. But your son loves her. Are that you upset? Might... Does she have a criminal background that upsets you a little bit? Yeah, that, yeah, that frightens me. Uh, I don't want to have to get, get that, that dreadful phone call one day saying that my son is in the morgue and can you come by and identify him? You know? Why do you think she would actually kill your son? <sighs> Things happen. Marlita? Does anything in your past indicate you might be violent toward her son, your no. fiancé? Everything that she's saying is, is assumptions. It's really, really deformation of character because I was found not guilty. How can you still accuse me of something when I was found not guilty? Not, what was the charge? It was, it was first-degree murder. But you were found not guilty? Yes. Isn't that a scene? When you posted my mug shots on Facebook and on the media service when I'm not convicted right now today? All right, LaVon, here's a post. Two people accused in a 2007 slaying in Pine Bluff have returned to face first-degree murder, degree murder charges. Marletha made a court appearance on Monday where Bond was set at $1 million. 
She's charged with the death of a 41-year-old man whose body was found inside a house in Pine Bluff. She posted that because she took the time to Google me and do a back me and do a background check, which everybody, I'm quite sure everybody in this audience, even you, Bill, ain't nobody perfect. Everybody got a story to tell. Nobody I know has been charged with first-degree murder, I'll say but, that. But it's a charge. It's a charge. It's, it's a charge. charge. It's a charge. You innocent and so found not guilty. You innocent and not guilty. guilty. Exactly. So did Marletha try to attack you? Yes, she did. Tell me what happened. She came by my house. My house. She drove to my house uh, when she was about four months pregnant, and she was beaten, bearing all on my outside outside apartment window and door, demanding that I open the door. The only reason why I didn't open that door was because of the fact that I knew she was pregnant. No, and she didn't she, open that she, door because she no, knew what she door. What she, were you doing there, Marlene? Had um, she not been pregnant, I'm the I'm, I'm, I'm the type of woman. Anybody in this anybody can say anything about me, anything about me. It's your opinion. It I, it don't matter to me. But you would not you would not put my kids in any situation because my kids are innocent to do with the situation. So I woke up to I had to turn my phone off one night because she kept blowing up my phone. Me and James both turned our phones off. I woke up that morning and I checked my voice message. She said, I'm on the I'm on my knees praying to the devil that you and that you and that down delivery table. I got up, I put on my pajamas, I said, James, I love you, but I'm finna go with p He said, baby, he said, baby, I'll see you when you get back. I got in my car, I went on the south side, and I knocked at her door because you don't, don't hope my baby died because he had nothing to do with it. You were gonna beat that woman up. I was gonna tap the You were pregnant. No, excuse me, the only reason why I I'm glad you didn't let her in. She's but pregnant. But had she not been pregnant, it would have been a different story. You would have let her in. You would have had it out right there. Or something like that. Do you feel as if, maybe, that your son, in a sense, has done anything wrong in this relationship, or do you, what relationship, or do you, what do you think? As far as just, as far as just sitting back and, and, and just openly allowing her to disrespect and making verbal th threats toward his mom. Okay, but you make, th you make verbal threats towards his woman. I didn't I'm his threats woman, you. we is not going to sit up here and come all the way to, to sit up here and exaggerate. Are That's you, you going to let her see her grandson? No, it, he might go over her house, and it might, honest to God truth, it might be an accident. But I'm not going to accept it as one, because she never accepted him. So if I, he go over there and hurt himself, I'm coming. Because I, I'm not going to believe it was an accident. Because you don't love, because you don't love my son. No, that's not true. That's not true. Is there any way to salvage this relationship? The main topic here is Samaje. That three-year-old boy I got, because he's here. There he is, here. and then there's a picture. That's, that's, and he in a test. You asked me for one, and what did I do? You did it, and you passed it. He passed he it. He passed it. Do you know, did you go on Facebook? Did you show them the messages to where, I, after I showed you the DNA test, she still say, supposedly my grandbaby, like, how much more do you want? Do you admit cheating? on your man a little bit? You did? Yes. How, how does that make you feel, Mama? I, you know... She I can't really, feel. Really don't she can't feel. Because that's our relationship. Don't you don't even have a relationship with him. Because if he's forgiven if he, me and we moved on, it's nothing you he, can do or he, say if to break like us it. up. If that's our relationship. If he likes it, I love it. If he likes it, I love it. If he likes it, I love it. Exactly. If you think this is hot right now, stay tuned. It's about to boil over. A lot more coming up, including another Mama, and we got more drama. Stay right there. This family feud. How does it make you feel when it's death or problems with your son Samaja? That's devastating to me, Bill. For the simple fact, this is this is her blood. He's about to explode. Dad I said, said I hoped you died doing no. it. Oh, oh. said, girl. You won't believe Night, an hour with you. won't let it happen. No, I won't hurt his dad. Won't let it happen. And that's her son. And that's her son. Lots of baby mama drama today. LaVon, last time you actually saw your own son, how long has that been? December of last year. So it's been almost a year mm -hmm. since you've seen your son. Yes. Make you feel as a mother. He's like rejecting you, in a sense. You know, a woman can have a bad relationship with a future daughter-in-law, but that's fine. Because, because of the current situation between me and my son, based on, based on communication, I've sort of gotten used to it, so it, I just, just let it. Right. What do you want to see happen today? If you had a goal at the end of the show, what do you want to see happen? Me out the picture? Not, ne not necessarily. Now, be not honest. necessarily. She... You just told her you don't want your son to marry her. Exactly. You I know that's what we're going for. I have my reasons. I'm not going to be nobody, baby mama. I have my reasons.
What are the reasons? But as I was saying earlier, I'm, I'm, I'm content with, with, with the current status that they have now as far as just relationship. I don't... Like I want to be a girlfriend for the I rest of my life, I don't, see, I don't see the harm in it with them just being, you know, just being... Casual. It says a man and wife supposed to get married. A man and woman supposed to marry. You're not supposed to just keep fornicating. It's already bad enough. We sinning already. We can't make it. We can't make it official. We can't go on the odds of the Lord. I know exactly what the Bible says. Okay then. So why do you have a problem with it? You have a problem with it because your marriage was bad, and you don't want that to sit up there and fall off on him. But that's not gonna happen to us. Well, either way, when it comes down, he is his father's son. Right. But you know the thing. That's why your relationship is the way it is. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't talk to you at all. Samaji just turned three years old, September fifteenth. Did he get a happy birthday? Did he get a happy birthday? No. Did he get a, a any a, anything? No. He only how he know her and his uncle and his auntie them is through pictures. I shouldn't have to sit up there and say, baby, this is your nana. This your daddy mom. Because my mom in his life. All right, please welcome fiance and LeVon's son, James. James, come on out. Been a, we, haven't, we haven't been talking for a whole year. You already know that, Mom. You need to get off the crap. I'm 28 years old. We ain't never had no type of relationship that we supposed to have. I'm trying to change that. Sit down, James. Sit down. Now, wh why? What is the... Before you ever met this fine woman, what was your relationship with your mother? <sighs> this is... This is my... And I love her, Bill. I love her to death. I love her with all my soul. I'm waiting for a butt. But... <laughs> But there's a problem here. But out of these 28 years, my mother has not shown the type of love of toward me that I feel that a mother and son should have. How does it make other. you feel when your mother almost wishes death or problems with your son Samaje? That's devastating to me, Bill, for the simple fact this is this is her blood. This is her blood grandchild. This is her first grandchild. Wow. My first child. You know what I mean? So Can you see the tears in his eyes, like, Mom? What about your heart? It's when he's not crying, first of all, and, and I never I never wished any death upon my own grandson. You said you hold me in the basket you back to the delivery tent. I hoped you died doing no. that. Oh, oh. Said, girl. you wish that like that's the child that's my son Mama. what bible do you read you said you read the bible what does it say in your bible <laughs> you wish the mother wish the mother of your grandson dies because on the because i was upset at the time because of the hit and run the so-called hit and run accident come on yes i was come on do you but fear her at all do you fear no, her? i do not you yeah. love that woman i love her to death and you man. want to marry her getting married man that's what i want you to realize yeah that's why you've been on time out for a year i put Time out for the simple fact that she's not respecting this lady. You gotta respect her first as being the woman that I'm gonna marry. You're gonna marry her. You have to you have to respect the family. And secondly, you got to respect the fact that Samaj is here. He here. You know what I mean? We might not have had the best relationship, but it's it's not too late for us to go forward, especially with your grandson. That's your grandson, Mama. This is the this is his mother. You and I never had to had that relationship mainly because there was a lot a lot of influence and brainwashing from your father. No, it, yes, we it never was. had the relationship because yes, of the other is that you no. have. For, for nope. my father. That's, nope. the, that's the real he reason. Had, he had lost, he we had got to put it all stuff. right here on the table. You got to honor your son's choices. You got to honor him, Mama. Your son James has chosen this woman to not just have his baby, but to marry. The choice is his choice. And if you love that man, you've got to honor his choice. And then you came for him for his father's mistakes. You laid down with him and had that baby. All right, please welcome Marletha's mom, Arena, the show. Arena, come on out. She hope I die in years and my mom ain't seen her, so... Yeah. And she no, just regressed it. They don't have a close relationship. Last it's year, Miss Bill, it's a whole new year. Do you know you're but supposed to see lifetime. siblings? It's not a lifetime, though. So. But, you know, she never... You you have them say some hurtful things. She knows she still remembers... What has she said about your mom? What she, she has... No. My mom first moved to Wisconsin. I was pregnant with Samaje, and she was cooking me a big soul food dinner. And I put it on Facebook, and Miss Beetle commented, was like, she needs to drop some poison off in there. And my mom never forgave her. Drop some poison? That is a lie.
Honey, sit down. Now, up, we're all adults. Your mom's you you promised me. Yeah, you, you was that one. That's what it was funny. You commented and said, you commented and said you need to drop some quick Let's let the mothers talk. Arita, Arita, let's begin. We're all adults. Well, you already said she got a problem. You hold my baby down. This is your baby. We love your baby. You ain't got no love in you. You don't have love in you. You love my son for real. I love him because he's love my daughter. Out of the statement that you made, the statement, the statement that you made about your own grand, your grandson, Samaje, though. Baby, what? When you were staying, when you were staying, when you were staying, when you were staying with my son and and your daughter. When you were staying with the both of them, one night you made a statement about the fact that if Samaje ro rolled out of the bed and hit the floor, you wouldn't give a damn. It was crazy. <laughs> You wanna drag me all the way out here to New, to New York to, to air out dirty laundry? When did I tell so you I that, though? That's what I'm telling the whole bank to look out. So when, when supposedly did I tell you that, though? This was told to me on Mother's Day by you? It's a lie! You it's a lie! It. It's a lie! No, it's not. But you admit wishing no, her not. death on the delivery table. You admit to that, but this other thing didn't happen, I'm sure of that. Right. Say, saying certain things about her as an adult... You're it, sorry it, about it, that, aren't you? Aren't, from, aren't you sorry about saying why? that? Why? Do you okay. not like me? I just said that I didn't like you. Yes, it got to be a reason. It got to be a firm reason. You need to get all this out there. You need to get all this out there. Right right a Seriously. lot more coming up. Stay right there. <laughs> Fallout from the fight. Today's objective is to create a relationship. She was not supposed to come out here and do that. And this baby mama drama is far from finished. I want them to get along. Me on a daily basis to know that my mother and my fiance cannot get along. And another battle is brewing. How can you deny your twin? Two years! Two years! Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com. All right, let me get, let me begin with you. Let's go back to the beginning. Are you somewhat sorrowful for having gone after? I'm just sorry, it's Jay, Mama. They could have been somebody else. I ain't lying. Mm -hmm. But you're defending. Well, I am so I am. I apologize for cut. But you know what? Just that I heard what she said. She wished my baby died. That's right. And that's something. That's cool. your baby. That's my baby. That's right. I look. That's my baby. No, you're sorry. That's not right for the you simple know. fact that the, it, today's it, objective is to get on this show and to create a relationship. She was not supposed to come out here and do that. This is a clean I slate today. This is a clean oh, slate yeah. today. Is is clean clean slate. Slate. I mean, is a clean slate. Now, what I want to happen today. Yeah. Tell her. Talk to your mom. What do you want? What do you want, James? Today's the day. What I want to happen today. Man, my, man, my son. Got one grand, two granddaddies here and two grandmamas. I want them to get along. Tears me up on a daily basis to my mother and my fiance cannot get along. And may I say, it begins with you, honey. It begins as the adult, the more mature, the older. You've got to accept and love the choices of James, and you've got to love Samaje. Look at the pain in your boy's eyes. Look at that. Is there something in your heart that can say, can you feel the emotion that he's feeling? That man wants his mother to love his, love his son and wants his mother to love his wife. And if it does not happen, if we cannot go on a... I, 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 I understand that it's not going to be easy, and I understand that it's not going to be fast. But if you, you don't have to love her, but you got to respect her, respect her. And as far as me and you, we got to move forward, Mark. If it doesn't have to a happen after the day, then you will be getting used to it for real. Because I don't give a damn how old you get. How disabled you get, I'm not gonna be there. After today news, I'm not gonna be there. You gonna have you gonna be leaving this world alone with three kids. 
and what Seriously. happened in your heart. It's been that way for a while. No, it hasn't. Yeah, for about the last For the four past years. three, four years, we've been trying. We've been trying wholeheartedly, and you got you done been to his damn birthdays and all type of shit. This second one. went because you didn't want to come. It's over your heart, little baby. This has to stop, like, right now. This is life. We have one life to live, I tell you that all the time, Ma. We got one life to live. This tears me up that I cannot have a relationship with you, but at the same time, I will feed you with that spoon, Ma. We James, let's layer this thing a little more. Were there letters that you, were there letters that you wrote about the, the abuse you suffered at the hands of your mom? I really feel that that's the reason that my mother has resentment toward me and anything that I do in my life is because she feels that she was betrayed. When I was a child, I, my, you know, I lived with her from four to nine, from four to nine, and there was abuse going on. By who? If you, if, by my mother. Things like, you know, mom would, you know, throw, you know, throw roach, t roach spray bottles upside my That's head and true. telephone That's cords That's up, true. telephones up. Get it out, James. Get it out. And, and you know what I mean? Like broomsticks across the back. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm talking about broke. Do you resent him as a little boy? Did you resent? He's saying no. it's not true. And that pain is still there. That's that I feel boy. like I feel like that's one of many resentments that my mother has. He didn't want to be with right you anymore. Nine-page letter he, he wrote. wrote a nine-page letter. I don't want to be judge. with her. I don't want to be with my mom. I want to be in my father's custody. And is you that why you that? won't for forgive her? No, no, no. That's, that's Levon, not, honestly, that's the reason why. A nine-page letter he wrote to the judge saying I don't want to be with her. James, how old were you when wrote that letter about Levon? I was nine years old when I wrote those letters in great detail. Great detail, and it was it was so much like information in the letters that the judge just went ahead on and said, "You can go ahead and show now, us it, that." Do you also believe, Levon, he might have called CPS on your other kids? Yes, I do. That he's turning you in because you abused well, him. He thinks that's a lie. I believe he has some knowledge about who called, and yes, I believe he had a hand in calling as well. And that's why you're resentful. I mean, yes, that's normally a yeah. woman is a little more emotional than a man. In this in this case. You're as cold as a popsicle, and this man is and reaching I out for you. Honey. That's because I got God in me. You see what I'm saying? How about today, when he stood up in front of you and said, this is the day. If you don't change this relationship, he's done. Can you look at your, can you look at your son and say, I'm sorry for what I've done, and I want to be in your you life? Really? Can I you can try? Say, I can say in my own words that we can try to move past our... Uh, this little situation, we can try to move a little forward. It's not a little situation. Move we, have forward. Been, we can move forward. It's a whole year, it's year not more. sorry. A whole year. This is a dysfunctional relationship. And yes, it is. It's, it's, can it's, you move past the past and step forward into the light of a better day? Yes, we can. Can you, do, can yes, you apologize can. to your future daughter-in-law for wishing her death? And she's delivering and everything her else. Can you apologize to her? I don't think, the only thing that I think I owe her an apology for is, is the of words as far as wishing you death. Anything else, I think you all should owe me an apology. Everything. Wow. Okay, you know what? We'll be back with more. Wow. We'll be back with more. Wow. We'll be back with more. This is. This is. This is 20, this is 28 years. This is, a, this is a culmination, and it's just more at stake because my my son is here. We have a family now, you know. So there's more at stake, and I would not prefer that he go through a life not knowing that his grandmother, you know, than that same cycle that I went through as a child. But if that is that if that had what is supposed to be, then that's what it's gonna be. The mother of all baby mama dramas. I got a button no! Look at his no! Look at his no! He's about to go down. Seven. You know, you know, there's family drama and then there's couple drama, and on today's show we have both. Baby mama drama. Please welcome my next guest, Anna, to the show. Anna, how you doing? Hi, Anna. Why are you here today? My baby daddy ain't no good. He is no good. He's a bad man. Your baby daddy's a bad man. Your baby daddy's a bad well, man. I ain't gonna say he a bad man. But no but, good. But he just ain't no good. My son is almost two years old, and I have yet to say he has spent about ten minutes with my son. Wow. Two years. Two years. My son will be two. Does he doubt whether or not he can? 
It goes Look through. at my baby. Look at my baby. Look at my stink. My baby is beautiful. And he took, he took a DNA test today. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out for sure. Yeah. Now, talk about the relationship, how it began two years ago. You were in love with him. What happened? We met uh, in February. I got pregnant in March. He lied about his age. Um, I'm 24 now. Then I was 22. Uh, he told me he was 18. And come to find out after I was already pregnant, you're 17. Oh. Yes. I got back and forth with his mama, everything. So... I got, when I was pregnant, his, I, I went through my whole pregnancy alone, try to keep the stress off of me so I don't harm my baby. And when uh, I went to be induced two weeks before I was 39 weeks, um, I went to have to go be induced to have my baby, and he went to prison. He went to prison? Yes. So he wasn't around to prison? Yes. So he wasn't around when the baby was born? No. And then he gets out of prison, and he denies the child? No. That's the funny part, because every time he's going to get into a fight or whatever we yelling at each other that's not my son i want a dna test use this use that blase blase blah every time he gets a new girlfriend i'm a hoe i'm a slut i'm this i'm that and the third and, and at this point he drops you kind of drops the two-year-old little bit oh. girl a little bit oh, no, he gets he a brand new him. girlfriend and guess what she's pregnant too yes oh no no she was pregnant with twins twins and then she she lost and then she said she had cancer so the new girlfriend's a liar oh she's a compulsive liar a compulsive liar yeah. and what's dante Dante is a, a dummy. A dummy. Dante, come on out. Let's go. Dante, have a seat. Have a seat. You're saying Anna's is making your life a living hell. Man, yeah, man. What's going on? What's going on? When Anna get mad at me, she denies talking about your son and my, and my son. So, Ooh, so I do? I do for real, Dante? Me, that's what she I do said. for real? I do for her, I say every time we got, every time we fight, I say, Dante, not to enough, get over it. I don't care if you with that beast. Okay, so why, why I can't get my son and take him wherever I want to take him? Because, for one thing, for one, minutes, I don't right? trust you and I don't trust Brittany. Brittany don't have her own children. Why would I let my child go off with you or Brittany? And Brittany, Brittany don't have children. When he's the father, when he's the father, father. Brittany should not do this. Guess what? They're not my children. Pull, pull, your, with her. pull your sleeve you up on your arm. Let them see that gang stuff on your arm. Man, you be dead because you use a damn dummy if you think I'm about to let my child go off with you. When I got money, my child get in. But at the same time, I ain't got to struggle for, di struggle for diapers. I don't. I get it. I ain't got to go when around asking for diapers. When the last time you bought your son some diapers? For one Let's be clear. When the before, last time you before, bought your child some hold diapers? Hold up, hold up. Before, get what I said. And I'm going to tell you, I said it. She I ain't buying him nothing. Yeah. Until I find out he's yeah. lying. Yeah. I'm not buying no, 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 him nothing. No, you're not buying him nothing. Anyway, why do you think? Christmas. When I got out of prison, I bought his whole Christmas. I don't I've been out for a month and I bought his whole Christmas. And I thought, why, why do you think? Party. Why do you think you you're in the ass? You ain't going to have nothing. Your mama ain't going to have nothing. You ain't going to have nothing. You bought his cake to the bad news. Why do you have the receipts? I got receipts. I got receipts. I got receipts. I got receipts. And y'all got a speakerphone? Call his mama on speakerphone. Please call his mama on speakerphone. Your mama got two years of receipts. You ain't really did nothing for my son. So let's get that straight. Why do you think you're not the baby daddy? Why do you think you're not? Man, man can please show that bitch on my baby? Please? She, Lord, please show that bitch on my baby. How you gonna deny your twin? She got me drunk by one of her exes. She I ain't got one of her exes. She I ain't got you drunk by nothing. Look at my baby. Look at that boy. Y'all do That's that baby. baby. Look at me. Yeah. Look at my baby. And, and he looks like one of her exes. He looks like you. Look at him. He looks like one of her exes. He looks like you. Did she get you drunk and kind of force you to have sex? Man, no, she ain't never getting me drunk. Please. I'm telling you. I Is she a good please. mother? No, she ain't. She's a bad mother. mother? She's a bad I'm mother. I'm a bad mother. All right. This is what it is. My son, she can walk, let my son walk around with his foot with no shoes on. So, I t she said she took him to the hospital. And, time I, uh, and, so, and the hospital told her it was okay or whatnot. So I took him to the hospital. I got the pictures. You ain't took him nowhere. Your mama no, took him. My mama took Your me mama and took him, him to the hospital. Your mama took him. And, and, and I got the pictures of me and him in the yes, hospital. Yes, you can. Me and him in the yes, hospital. you can. Because you were talking to mama. No, because that one, that no. Because you want to know. Man, listen, you want to know. Because that what? You don't like me being well, with I him by myself. I my mama had to come. I don't, like, I don't trust you. But at the same time, I don't think they were him. I took him to go get his all for this foot. Dante's current girlfriend who's pregnant, stay right there.
it's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Do you think James and Marletha should forgive Levon? He got me, he got his grandparents, he don't need trash in his life. You there, you there 25%. If you're not going to give my son 110%, he don't need you. He don't need you. Today's all about baby mama drama. We've done some research in social media, and I have a couple posts that you put up. Yes. Are you ready for these? Yes. One. This is, Anna, this is one of your posts. I'm mad that you put a blank blank before your only son. I'm mad because the one day I asked you to keep him, you told me no, and that you and your cow had better things to do. I don't go online to bash you. I do it so people can see that behind closed doors you are a sorry sack of blank blank. She it's also true. said, I Anna, why being proud of number two, let me read know. what she said about you. Know. I'm a good daddy. They already know. Somebody tell my sperm donor his, to buy his son some diapers. You get your check to take your out, sorry, to take your girl and her kids out and do whatever. But, but you ain't get no money. You got no hole to get money, man. I got no hole. I get jobs. Is she jealous of Brittany? Is she jealous of Brittany? We don't get married. We get married. And she's pregnant. She's pregnant with my daughter. She's my wife. to steal Dante away from him. Steal him? Yeah. For yeah. what? That, that's what she can tell that you stole him away from we her. We were Facebook friends. We weren't friends in real life. And so did you not stalk my baby, stalk my baby daddy for I, daddy I and Nah, before. I stalked some you even, I knew, you even know her. I was trying to talk to her before we even got together. Dante, okay, for first what? of all, you never for told what? me that. First of all, you I never told tell me you. But get on to the DNA, which is why we're here. And everyone's agreed to stay in their seats. Are you ready for this? Dante, you ready? Tay, you ready? I'm good. I'm ready. You ready for this too, honey? Because... I don't need no DNA test because I is? know who my son's father is. I'm not no slut. Okay, I'm not well, no Okay, give me a hard time. Let me be a man. Let me be a man. That's all I'm scratching. Let me do what do I want to do. If you find out the baby daddy, will you step up and be that daddy if you are? And on, You'll support the child. Stepping up. I already been stepping up. When I had it, I gave it to him. Child support, the whole deal. You'll, you'll support the child. child support. She's been on child support. Five been on child support. When, when it comes to the paternity of that beautiful baby boy, the paternity of that beautiful baby boy, Dante, you are the baby daddy. <laughs> Will you help 
him become See, a good dad? I, I, yes or no? See, and will you no, look no, me in the eye, man to man, will you be a father to that boy? Yeah, I already been. Hundred percent from this point 100%. on. I'll come to get him whenever I want to. I ain't got. Will you let him have the boy? I ain't got. You cannot take. You take. Man, watch me. Watch me. I got custody. We got court rights. We got court rights. So I can come over there. You don't have no rights. Man, I already got a lawyer. I got all that. Look, look at that. That tattoo card. I told you I got a lawyer. Look, look at that. That tattoo card. I told you I got a lawyer. Look, look at that. That tattoo card. I told you I got a lawyer. Look, look at that. That tattoo card. I told you I got a lawyer. Look, look at that. That tattoo card. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried yes, about it. Yes, yes, you will know you can, and that's exactly why I'll you won't get my child. I'll say the court system will sort it all out. It, when you pay child support, you pay child support. You give visitation when the judge says to do it. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. Today's DNA testing and results were provided by DNA Diagnostic Center. For help with your DNA situation, email us at BillCunninghamShow.com. Is your loved one dating a loser? Do you want to break them up and then fix them up with their secret crush? Come do it on our show. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL. Damn, how old you get? How disabled you get? I'm not going to be there. Over baby mama drama. And the big question was answered. You are the baby daddy. You know, our guests went to battle today, but I'm sure what they want more than anything else is to find a way to get along without all the drama. Here to help. Achieve that as life coach Selena Gill. Selena, how you doing? Great. Good to be here. Let's go to your right. Uh, I've been touched by James's commitment to Samaje and what he wants. How do we deal with this mother situation in such a way that possibly the mother-in-law can have a relationship, but first she must heal the relationship with her own son, James? Well, I think you hit it on the head, Bill, because he wants his mother. You can see it. He is crying out for his mother. And... He actually reconnected with her as a grown man after he was taken from the What do you say to LeVon? Looks, un looks unemotional, uninvolved. Well, can you apologize to him for the hurt that he feels? Even, it doesn't even matter how you feel about it. The fact is, is your child should be selfless. You're being very selfish right now. There should be apologies from both of you. You have to set the standard. You have to be the example for him. You have to be the example for her. You have to, at some point, no matter what happened or what didn't happen, I'm sorry, son. I love you. You have to reconnect with him. And you have I'm to sorry earn the for privilege. too. I'm sorry for whatever happened to you in the early years of your life. But I, it, there's nothing I can do about that. I came out of you. I ain't come from the world. You know what I mean? And that it just hurts that I cannot, you know what I mean? Like, I want to change that in this, in this one life that we have to live. You know what I mean? And if we can't do that, then I guess it is better for us to just... Love apart. Levon, Levon, is that what you want in, in a sense to divorce you as a mother? Is that what you want? I want to have be able to re reconnect with that with that mother son communication that we had. That's the first step right there. You mm -hmm. have a desire, but then words are many, deeds are precious. You got to do things. James, are you for a second chance? I don't. I don't feel like she is, you know, wanting to move forward because, like she said, like she said, it's. It's more, she's saying that it's two, it's two ends, you know, two ends have to come together when we've been right, been right here for about four years. I don't see so. a lot of emotion from your mom. You know, so. She's emotion. That is, you know. The world, this is Bond. Can you take a step just right now today? He wants a clean slate. Everybody wants a clean slate. Apologize. Just say, I'm sorry. Just say, just say it. Why don't we all say we're sorry? No, I don't want you to take the example. Your mom. I want you to say I'm sorry. Then I should start. I should start being treated like a real mother, like his mother. See, all right, let's move on. James, you, you got the answer. You got the answer. You did. You got the answer. That right. It's reality. Right. And I know. You don't. You I, don't I have want more this. definitiveness to my future steps, and I just know that they don't include my mother. All right, let's move on. We got Anna. Selena. What do we do now with Anna and Dante? The thing is here, they develop, developed a family before they had a relationship, and that's the problem. Now they're going backwards. Now that we know that you're the father, there is no peace from war. None. All the fighting has to stop. There has, fighting has to stop. There has to be an even ground. 
first thing you need to do, like Bill said, there is a judicial system to take care of visitation. And they will, it's a proper environment, if supervised or not. But all this fighting has to stop. Anna, will you Somebody has to that? stop fighting. No. 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 Anna is in no. the choice. She's not going to no. choice. She's not going to no. shop it. Go to court. Shop that's it. why I'm stubborn and I'm pig-headed and I be dang for my last breath. Take out my body for I let my child go around somebody who okay, don't have don't her care, other three kids. You got three kids. I have three kids. And then, and she you got and four. The first How many two. do you got? But she don't know one. You don't know the other two. Why are we not in business? Why are we not caring about the child? The child is a mother and a father. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Then follow me on Twitter. Whether you are a baby mama or you have a baby mama, here's the bottom line. If you and a woman had a child together, then like it or, then like it or not, you've got a baby mama. And while that baby mama is here to stay, what you can get rid of is all the drama. So resolve of your differences by interacting with respect, or just don't interact at all. Because the more drama there is for you, the more drama there is for that precious child. And they deserve a lot more than drama in their life. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time.